Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I like to do is show you how to determine the angle between the two vectors. And I have the form for the angle between two vectors, which is cosine of theta is equal to um, the dot product of our vectors u and v, and divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. So what I want to do is pretty much solve you know, each one of these all kind of separately. So first thing is let's determine the dot product. u dot v, as I mentioned, is over there. So if this is u, and let's call this one v, that's u1, I'm um, sorry, that's u1, u2, v1, v2. So now let's go ahead and um, determine the dot product, which is going to be 2 times 3 plus 1 times 5. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 times 5 is 5, equals 11. Now let's go ahead and determine the magnitude. So the magnitude of v is equal to the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared. And that's going to equal the square root of 9 plus 25, which equals the square root of 34. Now let's go and figure out uh, the magnitude of u, which is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared, which equals 4 plus 1, which equals the square root of 5. OK, so now I have, um, I know what the dot product is, which is 11. And I know what, I know what my two magnitudes are. So I'm going to say cosine of theta is equal to 11 divided by the square root of 34 times the square root of 5. All right. Now, to solve for theta, I need to use the cosine inverse. So it's going to be cosine inverse, because that's what we're trying. They're just asking us to find the angle between the two vectors. So we've got to solve for the angle. And that's going to equal cosine inverse of 11 divided by 4. Let's see, 34, that's going to be 68. Um, that's going to be 136, um, 40. 170? Let me just double check my math. 34 times 5. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 170. Good job. OK, divided by the square root of 170. Now, when I'm using my inverse, I'm not going to want to evaluate that. Um, what I'm going to want to do is just leave it all in my calculator. Now, I do want to make sure the mode in my calculator is set to degrees. And now all I'm going to do is set um, go cosine inverse of 11 divided by the square root of 170. I don't want to um, try to approximate. I want to put in the exact answer into my calculator. And then I hit Enter, and I have 32.47. Um, I'm going to round to the 10th. So therefore, we'll have theta equals um, 32.5 degrees. Therefore, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine uh, the angle between your two vectors, u and v. Thanks.